Hey scientists, let's talk about sounds. You hear sounds all the time. In fact, you're listening to me make sound right now. Sounds are vibrations that you can hear. Anytime something makes a sound, it causes a set of vibrations that can travel through air, water, or another medium. The stronger the vibrations, the louder the sound. The weaker the vibration, the quieter the sound. Sometimes a vibration is so strong that you can feel it too. Like when the bass in a car is set too loud, you can hear and feel the vibrations. <laughs> Unlike light, sound has to travel through particles. That's why there's no sound in space. You can see here with the music that the vibrating sound travels through the particles in the air. <laughs> If there aren't enough particles to move the vibrations, you won't hear the sound. Sound vibrations travel in waves, so when something makes a sound, like a dog barking, the sound wave is made and travels toward your ear. Sound waves are the patterns that are caused by these vibrations. Let's say you honk your horn. The movement of the air coming out of the horn creates a vibration of the air particles, and those vibrations move outward in sound waves. Different sounds make different vibrations or patterns. A fast vibration makes a very high sound, while a slow vibration makes a very low sound. We call this pitch. Let's look at some different sounds and see if they're high or low pitched. A motorcycle driving by your house creates a very strong vibration moving at a slow speed. This strong and slow vibration would make a loud, low pitched sound. Let's try another one. Your guinea pig squeals with excitement when you tickle it. This vibration is much weaker and moves very fast, so it would be a quieter sound with a much higher pitch. The amount of space the vibration has to travel can also affect the speed and pitch of the sound. Let's say you're blowing across the top of a large jug of water. If the jug only has a small amount of water, the vibrations have a lot more space and they move much more slowly, so we have a low pitch. But if you add water to the jug, now the vibrations have less space and move much faster, creating a higher pitch sound. This also happens on instruments. Let's look at a guitar. A guitar has six different strings that make different pitched sounds. The strings are all different lengths and thicknesses. The shortest string makes the fastest, most high pitched sound while the longest, thickest string makes a slow, low pitch sound. An easy way to remember is that the word low is inside of the word slow. Humans use sounds all the time of different pitch and length to communicate. Let's take a look at some questions. <laughs> 